So far, Kanda has had every, every bit to be happy in the Ivan Holinka and the Gretzky uh, championship right now. And just the sugar on top happened today. I was already going to make a video on Cole Perfetti regardless, probably after the tournament. But what after what happened today, it just had to be done right now. Because I... It, it could not be more perfect. That's why I'm giving him the new nickname, Cole Perfect Perfetti. I don't know if that'll catch on anywhere else, but for me, that is definitely going to stay. If you guys haven't already heard, Canada is going to be in the finals tomorrow playing Team Russia. And... But... That's not the big deal. It's the big deal is how they got there, or for say, how did Cole Perfetti get there? Uh, it was 1-0. I was actually watching the first bit of the game, but then I had to go to work. It was 1-0 Sweden after they scored a power play goal. And then early in the second period, 4-4, four four, Cole Perfetti finds himself on a pass from who, who else but Hendrix Lapierre, who's, I think, assisted on almost every single one of his goals, I mean, except for one or two. But anyways, he scores on that breakaway, being really patient with a nice forehand there, making it 1-1. Sweden eventually made it 2-1 though, and then, why why not, Cole Perfetti on another breakaway scores another one, this time, you know, waiting him out a little bit, I think he scored on the backhand on this one here, you know, just another really good slick goal by the young kid, either way, it's 2-2 now, and a game went to overtime, that's still, nothing was solved in there, and then it went to a shootout, and this is where it gets intense, I'm actually gonna go and find the actual like scoring uh, sheet for you guys here just so you guys know what exactly happened and just before I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer you guys need to know that in international hockey after I'd, I forget how many shooters it is but after a certain amount you are allowed to keep using the same player as many times as you want theoretically forever if the shootout goes on forever I guess but anyways, I'm just going to do a quick uh, walk through what you got here. So first off, Seth Jarvis shot, he missed. And then Daniel Lundman scored for Sweden. And then Cole Perfetti takes the second one and he scores. And then, you know, then we get, let me just get, uh, we got Helge Grounds, miss. Quinton Byfield, miss. Uh, miss, 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 miss. And then we get back to Cole Perfetti. Actually, Cole Perfetti missed one in between that. He actually got another chance there. And then same with Daniel Lundman, when he missed too. But then Cole Perfetti, on his third shootout attempt, scores again. And then Daniel Lumman also scored, causing it to go another round. And Cole Perfetti scores again, making it technically a five-goal game. I think eventually, actually, one of those ends up being uh, added for a hat trick. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I heard. So he scored three out of four shootout attempts. Uh, he had six breakaways in the game, if you really want to count it like that. Scored five goals on breakaways, giving Canada the victory. And honestly, big uh, big shout out to Jesper Wallstedt, who actually made 39 saves on 41 shots for 951 save percentage. He had an incredible game. Tristan Lennox made 20, 21 saves and 23 shots. Still not terrible, but anyways, nowhere near Jesper Wallstedt. We're not here to talk about the goalies, though. We're here to talk about Cole Perfetti and the outstanding tournament he has had. Like, also, this is the other thing, too. He has now broken the record for most points in a uh, Holinka Gretzky tournament with 12, and he still has another game to go, beating uh, Vashley Poltz-Golzin's record of 11 last year. I think Poltz-Golzin also has the record for goals, which is 8, which Cole Perfetti is now tied. Cole Perfetti is also plus 10 in the tournament. He is... I have, he's, he's just unstoppable right now. Looking so confident, looking so deadly. I really hope this is just a, an early showcase of what we're going to be seeing next year with the Saginaw Spirit Forum. Anyways, the 5'10", 185-pounder from Whitby, Ontario has just... He's outdone himself. That's all I'm going to say. He was in many people's top 10s, I would say. I don't think there'd be many people that labeled him outside the top 10 to begin with. I personally had him, I think, at 8th, I'm pretty sure. And I'm not the kind of guy to, you know absolutely give someone a major boost after of having one tournament that's only five games long i'm not gonna do that but either way my uh i i have really started to uh, put a lot more promise into cole perfetti i can easily see him being a top five pick if anything keeps going like this i still I'm, I'm probably gonna give him a little boost up to maybe six or seven there but like i said also this draft class is insane and this is just adding to the pot i didn't know cole perfetti was gonna be this good i know this guy had immense talents and immense hockey high but this is just a whole another level this is, I know it's the Holinka Gretzky, it's not the most high tip-top quality tournament of all time, but it's still so impressive. I'm probably going to end up having to do an individual scouting report on Cole Perfetti later in the year, because uh, this guy is just, he's exceeded expectations at this tournament, and yeah, no, that's all I had to say to you guys, I hope...
I had to give my little two cents on Cole Perfetti there. And I was going to make this video tomorrow after the finals, but I just had to do it today. I had to. This kid, just wow. Anyways, I hope you guys little enjoyed the little highlight clips I had there and then the little two cents I had to have on them. But either way, hope you guys enjoy the final tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.